Silver's on the scene. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. It's Friday, right? Oh, it is Friday. Isn't that great? It's a beautiful day too. Coming to you from Hendersonville, Tennessee. It is Friday, August 9th. And so you see it. Let's take a look at it. That's right. It is time to dig. Um, there wasn't much around the Hendersonville area, in my opinion, allegedly in my opinion, that would require much digging. However, there were, or there was one spot, maybe two spots, over by Mary's Magical Place. And according to Katie, I believe it is, this was Sebastian's favorite place. Play, favorite playground. Go through those woods, you have Drake's Creek and the Texas Roadhouse where he was last seen. Proof of life. You have Highway 386, Veterans Highway, I believe it is. Vietnam Veterans Highway. And so here is Mag Mary's Magical Place. Okay, beautiful day. And so, oh my. Hold up a second. Hold up a second, more to come. Okay, I'm back and uh, I took a pause. Let me show you why. So Sebastian Rogers, favorite playground according to his mother, Katie Proudfoot. Mary's Magical Place. And I came here three or four weeks ago to walk this tree line, to look around Drake's Creek, Drake's Creek, then the Texas Roadhouse. And I was taken aback just now. You see, I came to do some digging because in Hendersonville, I encountered two mounds. Actually, it was about three or four, but two big dirt mounds. And what were suspicious, what was suspicious about it, about them, was here's Mary's Magical Place. So this is where you go in and play. See, it's nicely fenced to protect the children. Parents are there with them. And at the corner back here, I just saw this a few moments ago. That's why I cut camera, I had to take it in. The mounds are gone, my friends. They're gone. I'll put right now at this moment, the video from when I was here last, you can see. All right, folks, I'm back. It's raining pretty good. You see, there's a uh, interstate or highway 386 leads you right to the roadhouse, which is right there. This is uh, Mary's magical place. Very nice playground, actually, for kids. I'm not trying to, you know, create any extra ordinary stuff, but this sits right at the playground. Now this could be sitting here for the last two years. I do not know. Second to that, I'm sure this was checked by both the first search and law enforcement, as well as Seth. The grass seems to be, well, it's dead over there too. Anyway, just one, two, three big mounds of dirt. I don't know. So you can see those mounds were huge. They were really big, especially one. Then a smaller one, maybe a third one. So I came here today to dig. Have my glove on, have my other glove. On the other hand, you gotta protect your hands. It's hot out here, but that's okay. Someone's done this for me. Now, a couple of things couple of things either one this was scheduled to be moved and you know it was an eyesore for one so it was scheduled to be redone and nothing with my video or my discovery made any impact on it at all or is it possible that someone saw the video contacted someone said something to someone see something say something and they came and looked and 
remove these bounds. So whoever did this, city, county, who owns the park, whatever the situation is, they did the digging for us. It's fantastic. So now these suspicious mounds are gone. And Sebastian obviously wasn't in there. Allegedly, in my opinion, he could have been. So this is great. It's great news, okay? What, what's the best part about this, right? The best part about this is someone's watching or someone's listening, or maybe it was a coincidence. Either way, the mounds are gone. It's been cleared and we can move forward to another location. Wow, I'm blown away. So that's great. Uh, so that was the dig and I had mentioned in my last video from yesterday, I was gonna move that mound around, I'm gonna play around with it. I'm going to now go into the trees versus just walking the tree line. I'm gonna go into the trees. When I was here last, when I was here last, I, I felt like the part of my video, if you remember with the, with the umbrella, I felt like I should have gone over that little berm-like area, but I didn't have the boots on the ground at that time. So I do today. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm also gonna check this little manhole, or not manhole, this little drainage pipe as I did once before. I've already walked by it once, no smells like there were last time. Smell like a, uh, an unalive animal. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna cut camera. I'm gonna set up and uh, I'm gonna go back into the woods there. And we're gonna look at Drake's Creek again, this time opposite side of town, about 5.2, 5.3 miles. From Sebastian's home, so just out, just outside of the search radius, but close to home, close to the roadhouse, close to, according to Katie, his favorite playground. And let's see what we're gonna find. As I always say, this is allegedly, and in my opinion, I hope to find nothing. Therefore, the chances of Sebastian still being alive are out there. Possibility. Also, allegedly, in my opinion, as everyone should know, I don't feel that's the case, and that's why I'm out here. Boots on the ground. Shovel in hand. Goal is to dig up the truth. Dig up the truth. We gotta find them. We gotta keep this awareness alive. Anyone watching this, share it with somebody. Cleveland, Tennessee did not realize Sebastian was missing. At least the Walmart didn't, now they do. So that's the goal. Keep the awareness alive, find them, and when we do, we get justice. More to come. Oh wait, you see the other side. Okay, good. See, the other side coming out. Okay, so that is clear. See the, oh, you see, you see the creek running. So I guess when it fills up here, it will spill over into the creek. Make, uh, okay, makes sense. All right. This reminds me of the, this reminds me of what you see in the flashlight video. So this is a good time to bring this up. This kind of runoff drainage into the creek here if this land gets flooded this is exactly like what and they're all the same you see at the drainage ditch in the common area in sebastian's neighborhood so when that car suv truck that lot those lights come on not only do they illuminate the grass they illuminate this and you'll see that beige color concrete look clearly in that uh when those headlights come on in it by doing so it gives you a pretty good idea of where uh, that car is parked and as justin clutch them pearls thank you justin appreciate everything you say i agree with you it takes a kind-hearted person to know a kind-hearted person so 
you're one yourself doing good for people thank you for mentioning my channel thank you for sending people over to subscribe they mention you too when they come and they're great loyal subscribers so uh thank you for all you do i've been watching you ever since this i got involved in this case but you're correct i do believe the car truck suv was up in the grass let me state the reason why i believe that if that car truck or suv had been sitting on the road so dark with lights off and had another car turned into that road possibly could have been an accident because you wouldn't have seen the car so they got up on the grass to avoid that as well as you know um be just a little closer to allegedly in my opinion who i believe katie coming out and moving sebastian from the home so this is it take a look at the flashlight video you'll see this when it illuminates okay we're going into Drake's Creek right now. More to come. Silver's on the scene, I'm back. And uh, about to head into, right here, about to head into Drake's Creek. You saw it coming through the uh, drainage pipe. So I want to note this, because I noticed this when I was here last. So if you'll just look at this right here. So what you have, right? Got the shovel. This is a bunch of dirt piled up it could be suspect but as i look at it you see the asphalt the, the 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 both already made up asphalt as well as the the loose asphalt and so this appears to be just where dirt right this is just where dirt is and when these guys work over here there's their truck right there and they're probably the ones who knocked down the dirt mounds too then they'll just toss now this makes more sense to me tossing the used materials asphalt concrete into here versus some of the other places i've seen but once again didn't have to dig here at the park at the playground because someone's done it for us but uh what you're going to be seeing tomorrow is a lot of this horn lake mississippi we're going to be digging because you have to dig to discover the truth okay now with that said i'm going in i'm going in here so i came to about right here last time and i stopped because as you can see it's pretty nasty terrain didn't have the right shoes on at the time but i do now boots on the ground so what interests me about this? Okay, so if you point straight across, Texas Roadhouse is right over there. Before you get to the Roadhouse, you have Drake's Creek. You have a huge wall, because the Roadhouse is up on elevation, it's, it's higher up. So you have the Roadhouse, he was last seen, Sebastian was last seen 165 days ago. Well, over five months. And then you have those woods, you have the creek, and then you have his favorite playground according to katie so what i want to do the main thing that stands out to me is it's almost just like a berm with all these leaves and branches built up allegedly in my opinion if i wanted to i hate using the word dispose if i wanted to hide sebastian allegedly in my opinion in hendersonville to make it look like he did leave the home and then unfortunately became unalive due to the elements this would be a perfect spot because over there you're not going to see him from here so we're going to go over there and see if we see anything okay so here we go i don't like this terrain i'm going to tell you straight up there's too many you can take a look at it possibilities for something <laughs> hold on possibilities just watch out for me so i do have silvers too i'm not going to show her she's behind the scenes but silvers too is here so i'm going to tell her right now she's here in the woods just to have my back for two reasons one the main reason in case i trip fall or something but two someone were to roll up on me which I'm not saying i'm not concerned but that would be interesting so but anyway so she's back there watching and she said thank you to everybody for their great comments she's 
taken aback like I am for the love and the support. Okay, so take a look at this. I mean, this is almost like a beaver, is it a be like a beaver dam or something. It's wild. I don't even know if I can walk on that. So, you see the creek? You see the creek back there? Okay. So let me come over here. And just, there's a piece of plywood here. Once again, I think you can see all the wood. I believe this to be a place where they, when they're done, when they're done, I can get that with one hand. When they're done working on stuff, they just put, they just put their trash here, leftover materials here. Looks like we're seeing a, what appears to be a tire down there. I want to see what that is. So we think Silver's 2, is this going to be, can I step on this? Oh. It's actually pretty hard. Okay, good deal. Okay, that's gonna bring me right to the creek. Oh, spider web on face. Spider web on face. That's beautiful. Okay, pause. I'll be right back. Okay, Silver's is back. Silver's on scene's back. And uh, I change out batteries, make sure I don't run out of juice, right? What I wanted to look at is right here. You see this? Yeah, it's like a, I thought so, it's like a two for a tire. Okay, okay we're good. So I don't have my stick, as you can see. I have the shovel, which acts a lot like it. it gives me support. And it also gives me a way to dig if I need to dig, so. Okay. As Silver's 2 mentioned, when we were changing batteries, it looks like a lot of this was brought by runoff down to this area. Okay, so, you know, little spots like this, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Follow me here. Spider web, spider web, spider web, sorry. Ah, come on. So little places like this, allegedly, in my opinion, if you were going to place someone, Sebastian, someone, and pretend like they were, you know, trying to get out of the elements. Oh, more spider webs. Then, uh, there you go. It's clear though. We're clear. Good. Okay, so let's... More plastic, ghost like, creepy like. But I don't see this being as creepy. This is more open, positive looking. And the sun's coming in too. It was a little darker yesterday. Alright, so. Oh, I feel like there's spiders on me. Y'all can lay, y'all can walk on me. I don't care. Just don't bite me. Okay? Not turn into Spider Man. Silver's on the scene becomes Spider-Man on the scene, right? Bam. Okay, so. Okay, people. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. That's got to be, I found bones. But this is some animal bones. I 
Right. It's animal bones. What is this? I don't know that. Okay. I need to, um, I'll be right back. I believe that's animal bone. I don't know what type of animal. I can't see that being inhuman. And then here, this one could possibly be more human, but the way the leg does back, maybe it's, I'm thinking deer. That's what I would say, a deer. I'm gonna take photos. There's a rib too right there. Yeah, I'm seeing more. Okay, I think this is deer. Let's take a look. You have what's probably a rib here. Some more. And then that right there is definitely not human. That jawline. Oh, there's more too. Oh, this is creepy, folks. Um, I've never come across anything like this, but yeah, the more I look, that's deer, right? I'm gonna take photos and have someone verify this. That's a deer, that's a deer, right? Deer? Some type of animal with that structure. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I had a moment, folks. I, I found these bones. This one was the one who really, that really got me because it, here it could be a bone of a person, but I started seeing these little ones. The way that's built too, see like a deer has deer leg, back leg does. And then I found this, definitely a deer or some type of animal. There's another one here, be the other side of the mouth, the jaw. That looks big and that looks big, okay. That definitely could be like person, but as you come along, you'll see more here. That kind of unnerved me too. I've taken photos of these just to get someone to verify. But I do believe, if I didn't believe that it was animal, I would have already contacted the cops, law enforcement. That looks big, but then you see stuff like this, and then you see this, which I believe to be part of the head maybe of the deer that's fairly big and that's definitely I don't see that being our spine God, I didn't realize that was... see but I'm gonna I'm gonna have people check it out though oh my I gotta take a moment that's uh... I don't have any weird chills though like that was a person i really feel strongly that's some type of animal my guess is deer died for some reason starvation whatever you can see that vertebra right over there and it just doesn't look human to me so okay so i'm still going to share that with people but i don't think it's anything i need to alert at this point because i do not see it being human Whew, i tell you there's the drainage ditch. Let's go over here. I'm trying to get my breath back. Ooh, here's the drainage. Okay, here's drainage. As you can see all the way through. Hold it in. That's where I shot from earlier. Um, you know, I'll, I'll state my theory again. When it comes to Sebastian Rogers, I believe he's been moved from here. He's not in this area. I believe digging needs to be done west, which will happen tomorrow. Um, I've always said, this is very beautiful, look at this. 
Wow. I've always said that if he was here, he would be found out in the open. It would match with he walked out the door. Story, that I believe is a story. Allegedly, in my opinion. And if he were anywhere else outside this city, west all the way to Horn Lake, that he would be buried somewhere. So tomorrow, digging. Today we got bones, but whew, I tell you what. Like I said, though, no chills. I think it's it's straight up. Uh, you hear the siren too now. It just adds to the to the whole vibe. But uh, this is a beautiful little creek here. It was yesterday as well. Better light today, so it lights better. This cool hat just running through. Very calm. That is gorgeous. So that's what I want to do. I want to get over here. I'm going to. I'm gonna cross right here, I think. I'm gonna get over there and just check that little island-like place. And once I do that, then I'm gonna make my way down over here. Let's just see, let me go this way maybe first. All eyes on deck, right? Everybody's watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the cause. Later today, I'm gonna to be looking into the Bethany Markowski disappearance 23 years ago, folks. So I'm gonna introduce that later between Hendersonville here in Nashville and Memphis is where Bethany went missing. So that'll be a separate video. Find them, keep the awareness alive. Get justice. You know. Bring them home also. Bring them home also. That's we we must bring them home when we find them. Hopefully alive. I'm gonna continue over here versus going back that way. I think this would be. You know, I don't judge anyone. I don't get into dramas and all that. So I say that to say this. Um, allegedly, in my opinion. Be it Katie or Chris, when it comes to hiding a body, allegedly, in my opinion, neither one of them are going to spend the time, as, as little time as possible, is my point. As little time as possible. Um, so I say they, if in Hendersonville here, around the Straits Creek, if they were doing something here, it would be easy. They would just bring him out, lay him out, in hopes that someone like myself or anyone else searching or just anyone out enjoying the creek with their kids or their family, by the way. Get out of here. Okay. Um, we just, uh, you know, I'm gonna do something. Here. The easy route is what I'm trying to say. You've eliminated your. Allegedly, in my opinion, you've eliminated. Removed your burden. Why take the time to do a proper burial, if you will? Okay, so I'm going to make my way through here. So it was about to get possibly wet. Whew. You always find that spot that's just not. Okay, here we go. I don't want to slip on these rocks too. That's the last thing Silvers wants to do. Okay, this is good right here. It's going to be wet. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> wet boots. Wet boots on the ground. So I made my way to the other side of the creek. 
And while I'm here, let me go down here. I keep changing directions. I just... One of the things I try to do sometimes is do too much. It kind of feels like what I'm trying to do now is too much. Pick one direction and go, Silver. So I just wanted to come over here. Did you hear that? That was the shovel, but it sounded like it was somebody. Okay. I'm not seeing anything here at all. But we're going. Oh, God, this is tough. There we go. There we go. Silver's cracking some leaves, taking some names. Here we go. This is where I want to be. So, a lot of feathers I've noticed. I first said the Silver's tooth isn't seeing a feather, a good sign, but I've seen many of them. So, yes, a lot of birds dropping feathers here. So, now we go across like this. These are the ways I like to go across, right? Whew. Okay. So I want to come over here because you bring someone over here, allegedly in my opinion, and it's, you're not expecting anybody to do what I'm doing basically, I think. Whew. This is the creek bed, as they say. White rock there, right, right there. First kind of resembles bone, but it's not bone. Beautiful creek. I like this rock wall that goes to alongside this creek. Not very really big. Well, it is kind of big actually. We create music, huh? Say more more leaves i mean leaves excuse me more feathers from our feathered friends the birds that can fly around right also let me say at this point as we're going to make our way back through here i'm gonna go back this way is um i wanted to say Thank you to everyone. Sorry, some duct tape I thought might be blood or something, but it's not. I'm gonna say thank you to everyone that, uh, I don't have the comments that I'm trying to get to. Believe me, I'm trying to get to. I wanna read them, I wanna reply back. Just saying to Silver's too recently that Getting out here and looking, taking care of my full-time job, which this has become my second full-time job. And I'm enjoying the fact that I'm getting able to do this and help bring Sebastian home. So I'm trying to get to all the comments, but the emails I've been able to get to quicker, at least kind of skim and read. I've replied to a lot. Plan on replying to a lot more today. But what I wanted to say as a whole was thank you thank you for all the theories wet boots thank you for all the theories that you've laid out in front of me uh, all your thoughts from you know sockets to dreams to I just woke up this morning and thought this to actual, you know, as close to real information as you can get, right? So, uh, as I've said before, the more we talk, the more we discuss this, the more we share. I keep coming back to the same area. Look at that. The more we share ideas, 
Well, what was I doing? I need to go back. That we uh, we learn more, right? And the more we learn, the quicker, quicker we can find Sebastian and bring him home. Nice little flow. Nice little flow on this creek. Nice little flow. Okay, here we go. Let's go down. I'm gonna go down a little bit further. And I said in a video once before, I think it was Horn Lake. When people can't find where they're going in directions in a car, it's typically because they never went far enough. So you gotta keep going. All right, I'm gonna switch hands. Keep going. Sometimes, people, the only way across is straight through this beautiful, beautiful creek in Hendersonville. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Silver's on the scene. That was, uh, okay. Wet boots now, for sure. Hmm. Okay. Spiders. So my GoPro got too hot. Too much action, too much recording. So now, I had to switch cameras on fly. Across the creek. I'm gonna make my way back to where I came in. Once again, look. Oh, it's so built up. It's crazy. It's so built up. But this is what I want to look at was I noticed earlier these uh, flowers here, very pink in color. It's places like that, folks. Places like that. Okay, so didn't expect to go through that creek and I'm feeling like there's critters in my <laughs> shoes. So I'm gonna cut through here See what I see. Make my way back to Silver's 2. She's probably wondering where I am. I'm squishy every step now. See? I think that's built up from... From the creek bed. More to come. The waters in the creek, but get a little practice in for tomorrow as well. This is what we were talking about, right? Digging. Digging up the tree. I believe this to be more <laughs> so we're gonna see. I believe this to be more more uh, from the way the creek runs with all this stuff too 
who all these are places to hide something. This to me, from my theory, wouldn't go with what I believe, but I wanted to do some digging. Great shovel, by the way. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna try to cut that language out. Uh, I'm not saying I never speak like that. I, I drop some words from time to time, but the point is, just like you saw, so I was right here. I've been digging a little bit here because just wanted to, I don't know, a couple of digs just to see. I just don't see him being here. I think this is also built up from the flow of water, but as I was about right here, and it might have been this, this is pretty, I'm not gonna say I felt like somebody grabbed me, but I felt like something pushed up against me behind me and it could have been my cell phone falling down into my pocket back there because my pants are kind of loose there. Um, anyway, took me, it took me back. I'm out here, I'm looking for a possible, allegedly in my opinion, unalive body. And even though I'm not conscious of it, I guess I can be on edge a little bit. So I dug, I dug a little more just to, you know, if anything, I'm getting practice for tomorrow where we're going to be digging in Horn Lake. But uh, yeah, probably should have had the shovel from the start because the shovel doubles as a walking stick and uh, then you can dig. Yeah. All right. So I saw Silver's 2 out there. It's hard to see out there, but she's got like a salmon color shirt on. Ooh, spider whip. Oh my gosh. And uh, so she might have heard me with that little outburst. Okay, so I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish here. Um, as I said, I stood way over there and I came all the way down through here. Now I can see over what I was looking at. Uh, mainly this stuff right here. I can see over it. And uh, I'm going to walk over it right now. Speaking of over it and over it. And uh, so here we go. Oh, goodness. I did contact, contact someone on the bones, a hunter, a uh, family member, hunter, who fully believes those are deer bones. I'll follow up again, but it's mostly the jaw line. and the vertebra, and the legs. I mean, it's all. Deer. There's a lot of deer around here too. You know, Silver's one and Silver's two yesterday, we saw, oh well, we love deer. We love walking around. My goal is to get a selfie with one, right? And so, but we saw maybe yesterday, whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We just sunk in that hole. Uh, yesterday we saw maybe 20, 30 deer, different spots throughout Hendersonville, White House area. We saw a gaggle, we call it, a uh, six or seven, at least five, five to six, seven raccoons went across in front of our car. So we like the, we like the animals in the nature. Okay, so I'm gonna get back out. As I said, I accomplished the goal of, since I was here last, going across here and just looking, seeing the creek, seeing if anything could be placed out here. And, uh, yeah, I think I need some boots that are waterproof or sloshes, sloshes, galoshes, galoshes, whatever they call them. Okay, so I'm going to head back out and, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, like I was saying before I cut camera early, thank you for your comments, uh, your tips, your thoughts, your theories. The more we discuss and never stop searching, we're gonna bring Sebastian home. And I say we because it's not just Silver's on the scene. Every time someone comments, every time someone watches the video, every time someone shares it, every time someone likes it, every time someone uh, sends a comment, especially an email, all, all eyes on deck, all hands on deck. Many hands make less work or something like that, right? Many hands make louder work. So, send anything, everything. 
doing my best to get to all of them. As I've told you before, I do have a, uh, a full-time job, so this is my other full-time job. So we're gonna get justice for Sebastian Rogers. We're gonna find him, we're gonna get him home, keep the awareness alive. And uh, I'm gonna introduce Bethany Markowski's case as I drive across to Memphis. Three hours, 37 minutes, right? Doorstep to doorstep. Allegedly, no, that's not allegedly, it's BS. BS, because I've driven it multiple times. Three hours on a slow day. Two and a half if you're hauling it. Um, so anyway, we're gonna drive across, we're gonna do some stops. There's four different stops to see in Bethany's case. And uh, there'll be more to come as always. So thank you again, really appreciate it. The love, the support. Never knew the outpouring support, so it would come. We're just trying to find a missing 15 year old autistic boy by the name of Sebastian Rogers, who according to his mother, that is his favorite playground. Okay, so that's it, I'm wrapping it up. As always, stay tuned. Tomorrow, Saturday, August 10th, Horn Lake, Mississippi, where we're digging up the truth. Thank you, everyone. Find them. Keep the awareness alive and get justice. Be safe. Peace.